Today, we are going to talk about no code provisioning and scaling. What I mean by no code is the ability to deploy Terraform resources without users having to necessarily write the Terraform code. They simply follow a workflow in our UI provider or API to provision from a list of approved modules. We specifically chose this direction over a service catalog or shopping cart style experience as we believe it is important for everyone to understand the fundamentals of Terraform, even though they might not be the ones writing the actual Terraform modules. So let's quickly jump into the demo here. So I'm at the Scalar account scope, and the only things I've done so far is first added a VCS provider. So if you haven't done so already, I would highly recommend doing that. And that's how you're going to import your modules to then enable the no code provisioning. And I've also added a provider configuration, specifically AWS as I'm gonna provision S3 bucket from the module registry. So first, what we're gonna do is go to our modules. Um, as you can see, we don't have any modules in here yet. And we'll go ahead and click on publish. We'll select the VCS provider that I've pre-created. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna create an S3 bucket. In this case, I'm just using the one from the public module registry. And we'll publish that. Now we're gonna take a few minutes to pull that down into Scalar, display the readme, show all the different versions and whatnot. Okay, the module has now synced and what we can see is the versions, the readme, we can copy code if we want to do so. But again, today we want to focus more so on the no code provisioning. So as I mentioned before, we're at the account scope and from the account scope, you can't provision uh, workspaces or execute runs. So what we want to do now is jump into our environment. And in the environment, we're going to want to click on modules. And what we'll see is that that module, this three bucket module has been shared from the account scope. So we'll go ahead and click on that. As an end user, you can see all the information needed. But what we're going to do today is just click on create workspace. By clicking on create workspace, that automatically brings us to the workspace creation page and defaults to the module that we selected, the module version. Let's call this model work, or this workspace an S3 demo. And you have other options around passing var files or the pipeline settings. Uh, but for now, we're just going to click on create workspace. Like when I click on create workspace, that's going to start pulling the configuration file in. And part of that configuration file is variables. And in this case, Scalar notices that there are some required variables. If I click on configure here, it's now asking us for the bucket name because that variable does not have a value in the Terraform configuration file. So we'll call this scalar one, two, three, four, five, six. Click create finish. And now we're ready to create a run. So I'll go ahead and click that. And now you can see we have a run execute. So all we really have to do is publish a module as an end user, go to the module registry, select the module we wanted, deploy it as a workspace, and then fill in the variables that were required by the module. So again, from an end user perspective, I wasn't required to know how to create a Terraform module, but I could still consume that module, still understand the details, still understand the concepts of Terraform and create the, the bucket directly from the module registry without having to write any lines of code. So we'll go to approve that and going to create the S3 bucket for us. But let's say in a day or two, a new version is released and we want to actually upgrade that. So again, I don't want to have to go into any code, update any code, do anything like that from an end user perspective. All I really have to do now is go up to my workspace settings, find my source settings, and you can simply click on the module version, which gives you all of the versions, including the latest. And if you want to update uh, to a newer version that is released in the future. That is the simplicity of the no code provisioning in Scalar, meant for any type of users, those that might be the most experienced Terraform users that just need to deploy something quickly, or those that are just starting out with Terraform and don't necessarily know how to create a module just yet. 